Hello and welcome to a special edition of You Should Have Played It with uh, one of the hardest games ever made. That's right, we're going to be playing the original XCOM, which uh, has a wonderful intro like it escaped from the, uh, the X-Men. <laughs> if you ever watched that cartoon, the original X-Men? Well, we're going to watch it now. Now, there's just going to be a bit of flickering while we bring up the game, because this game is really old, and getting it to run is, uh, is a bit of a nightmare. But here we go. <clears throat> State-of-the-art graphics for uh, well over 20 years ago. <laughs> so, this game is famous or infamous for being extremely, extremely difficult. Um, now, I would say, you know, a little bit differently from your typical you should have played it, I do not recommend that you get this game and play it because it really is showing its age quite quite dramatically. And the the modern XCOM remake is is really good. So get that game. Why not? Uh, but it will never be as hard as this game and you're going to find out all about that when I play it. So you can see this uh, this intro. The, su the suits are very XCOM-like. Um, <laughs> You gotta hum along to it. Da -na -na, da -na, da -na -na, da -na -da. That the grittier, more evil version of uh, of X Men. But you will not feel like X Men when uh, like X Men when you play this game because you will be losing men left, right, and center. Okay, so just wait for the game to load. Okay, English, please. Okay, new game. So obviously we're going to play it on the hardest difficulty because that's why we're here, right? <laughs> this makes a huge difference in this game. So like the first mission that you play, there'll be approximately one or two aliens if you're playing on beginner. Whereas if you're playing on superhuman, there might be about seven to eight. So it makes a massive, a massive difference. So anyway, what you do is, so you can't rotate the, you can't rotate the world by dragging. That's uh. That's a bit too modern for this game. We'll zoom in a little bit. So you pick a place to be. So we're just going to go right bang in the middle of Europe. Okay. UFO Edmund base. Because let's be literal. <laughs> right. So what you do is you can't pause. So first thing you have to do is go to your base. And we want to purchase and recruit a load of soldiers because we will be getting through them. Trust me on this one. They are not. They're. They're not going to survive. <laughs> and we're also going to grab some extra rifles and some extra ammunition because these things are important. Okay. There we go. Then we're going to build some facilities. So we're going to go with the living quarters because we need more space. We are going to go with an alien containment because we need that later. Oh, we're going to go with a missile defense because I don't like losing my base. A large radar helps us see what's going on around us and general stores gives us some space to stick things that we find. There we go. So this is the basic base setup. You start with everything that you need. And then in research, you've got scientists and they have a monthly maintenance cost, so you should put them to work. And I'm going to just start by researching laser weapons like that. Okay. If you ever need to think about the game, if you do get the game, it is available on Steam. And if you ever need to take some time and think about what you're doing, you can just go to the, one of your bases and sit here and uh, have a look at the various things. You can use your engineers to manufacture stuff, but at the moment we don't know how to make anything special so we are gonna have to live with them not doing anything at this time okay seems simple enough so we'll go back to the geoscape and speed up time I don't know if my weapons are gonna turn up before uh, the first mission turns up but we will see okay cool my weapons turned up that's good Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Still no aliens yet. They usually appear within a couple of days. Somewhere. 
Okay, cool, my extra troops turned up. So don't get attached to any of these people, because they uh, will not live. <laughs> oh man, it's a harsh game, it's a harsh reality of uh, the original XCOM. And they never get any better, you know, in the modern XCOM, get attached to your characters, give them names, give them perks, uh, give them special classes, all that kind of stuff. In this game, uh, you have you have human meatbag type things, and they die. They die a lot. So, right. So this UFO has been detected. It's small. It's on the ground. So this is our first first mission. Okay. Its speed is obviously zero because it's not going anywhere. Center on UFO. Time five seconds. So we click this, which sets the time to five seconds. And then we go to our base and we equip our craft, the Sky Ranger. So we're going to go with a full complement of crew, which is 14. It's going to make life easier. And we are going to add some more pistols and some more rifles. Now, the problem with the heavier weapons is none of your characters are really fit enough to use them. And there's like a movement penalty for walking around with very heavy gear. Um, as you get fitter, better characters, you might get away with um, with heavier weaponry. But early on, it's almost like a newbie trap. Like most things are a newbie trap in this game. Okay, so we've we've put all the equipment we can take. Okay. Okay. And we are going to go back to the Geoscape and select Intercept. We're going to use our Sky Ranger transport and we are going to go and intercept this UFO. Like this. And then we're going to save. Just in case it all goes horribly wrong. Now I did, I haven't played this for a very long time, but I did play it once uh, yesterday to try and um, get a feel for the game because it had been s like decades since I last played it. So, but it's it's like riding a back, uh, a bike, sorry. <laughs> this game is like riding your back, definitely. <laughs> the childhood trauma of playing this game is coming back to me. Okay, let's begin the mission. If I don't lose somebody within the first, like, 15 seconds of playing, I will be incredibly surprised. So this guy has got a rifle. Right, cool. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so everybody is a rifleman, so the game has automatically decided that the best thing is for everybody to be a rifleman. And that makes sense, really, because, um... The heavy weapons are, as I said before, it's it's quite difficult to manage them. You see here your stats for your character and you'll see that most people have not got particularly good stats like their energy and health is very low and you need healthy energetic um, soldiers to uh, to wield the high-end weapons and still have plenty of turn units left to do things right so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna try and get off this shuttle with uh, off the Sky Ranger without being killed, and we are probably going to get killed. So let's uh, let's go for it. Oh, I have not instantly lost somebody. Oh my god, the UFO is like right there. Okay, <laughs> we like landed on fucking top of it. Jesus Christ! But there doesn't seem to be a patrol around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set the guy to. Um, move and reserve enough energy for a snapshot just in case uh, an alien pops out from wherever right so we're gonna get the next one off the shuttle and go this way and yes I realize this is the opposite way to where the uh, alien craft obviously is but if you don't have people looking in all directions what can happen is um, that people can just uh, die without you being able to see why and that occurs because if you can't see the shot and you can't see the alien um, sight is directional 
then you'll get a message on the screen just saying blah 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 died of fatal injuries and it happened because they could not see okay time reserved for aimed shot aimed shot I'd rather reserve time for snapshot sorry I've forgotten what the uh, what the icons mean aimed shot requires a lot of action points to do so I will never get all my characters off the uh, off the boat if I reserve for aimed Jesus, this is the first time I rem I can remember playing this game and not having someone instantly be killed the moment I tried to get off the Sky Ranger. It looks like this is the edge of the map as well up here, so that cuts off a position from which the enemy can um, can attack me. I don't have to look in every direction to try and stay alive. Okay, this is a bit tedious but welcome to gaming 20 years ago <laughs> you don't have the nice modern uh, immunities that will allow you to uh, just select a ton of units and move them out you have to do each and every every single one individually and you have to click all these various buttons to get people to move once I've got them off the boat it will be much easier because the game has uh, as you can see different levels of height built in which is nice it's like a really revolutionary feature for the time um, and to be honest the modern remake has got the exact same it's the exact same game pretty much they didn't change very much so it definitely works but obviously the whole transition is much much smoother in the modern game in this game you've got to painstakingly click your way through everybody and get them all out and you don't want to get lazy and leave people behind and spam the end turn button because you need everybody you are going to take losses and there's no way to prevent them no matter how good you are plus a lot of your characters are just complete garbage and uh... they won't get to shoot first even if it's their turn which we're going to find find out all about that very shortly. Right, so we finally got everybody off the boat. Thank, thank God for that. Now we wait for people to die. <laughs> oh, that's a door opening. A door opening. Is there a building around? Doesn't look like there's a building around. Right. Can we get in here? Should I just put a hole in the wall? Can I put a hole in the wall? So the game has got destructible terrain which is relatively revolutionary for the time. But I'm not sure if these weapons are high enough caliber to put a hole in in the uh, UFO. Probably need a rocket launcher. Yeah, I think I need a rocket launcher. If it were a wooden wall or a fence or something, I would be able to break it. But it's not, so I can't. I'm like relearning here. But the uh, the way in is always on this side. It's always this door here. So I'm going to get our guys moving down here and get ready to breach the UFO which will undoubtedly be full of hostiles probably at least four and I'm gonna take some pretty heavy casualties but we are gonna have to live with it I can't go over that so I have to go around <laughs> I can't you can't jump over that chest high wall your 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 trained fit and elite soldiers cannot jump walls you could break the wall by possibly by using a grenade or a rocket or something but uh, that's quite quite an extreme approach to uh, <laughs> to move your guys forward you just have to go around it be as simple as that the alien plasma weapons will pretty much destroy any obstacle that they touch although it may take several hits so uh, just like the uh, 
Just like the modern game, basically. Ah, uh, this must be like quite painful to watch. This is this is painful to play. <laughs> you know, as I said before, you should have played it videos are typically about games that you should have played and if you didn't play them, then I highly recommend that you go and play them. But this game is more like I highly recommend that you go and get the modern remake and play that if you haven't. But I would like to show you this because it uh it was genre defining basically. Okay, so that's just a corner up there. So there's nothing up there. So I can now crawl the map looking for hostiles. Although there's going to be there's going to be a lot of hostiles in that bloody UFO. That that is guaranteed. Right. And this is the person that I used to shoot and this person is just chronically unfit. Okay, hidden movement. Two turns in and no one's died. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Ooh, I think that missed. And that one. Did that miss? It's hard to tell whether you took a hit or not sometimes as well. Let's see, what is your health like? Oh yeah. He did take a hit. He's quite severely injured. Right. Where is it? Where is that bloody alien? Oh god, not enough time units to go around the corner. Oh my fucking god, there's three of them. <laughs> oh dear. This is going to be bad times. I have enough turn units. No, I don't have enough time to do anything. Except get killed. Okay, I've got an idea. We are going to make a hole through this building. Basically. Uh, is it brick? Can't be brick. I think it's just wood, isn't it? Oh my god. I'm going to take so many casualties. <laughs> you can normally break down walls and I wanted to just make a path straight through. But it's not coming down so I'm in a lot of trouble. Now this guy, at least, has got uh He's got a shot, if nothing else. So you see here, like, the aimed shot is actually more about conserving ammo than actually hitting. The snapshot, in this game at least, um, it costs so much less to do that um, you have way more chance of actually hitting. Oh my god, I just friendly fired my own guy to death. He was dead anyway, but still. <laughs> oh, this is going to end badly. Uh, I have to leave those two there just to watch because I want to get attacked from behind. Uh, okay. 
I am just going to lose so many people next turn. It's going to be brutal. Right, has anyone got much time left? 32. I'm still shocked that I can't break through this wall. So, it must be, it must be brick. Because it looks like wood from this side, but from the outside it must be brick or something. Because you can typically break the walls with rifles. But this, this wall is proving quite difficult to get through. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, okay. Give me my punishment. Ow. Oh, return fire. Okay, it's a miss. Good. Splat. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely... Absolutely ruined. Now we have mass panic on our hands. Does not have enough time units left to pick our weapon back up. Uh, okay. That person has panicked to the point that they have not got any movement. Right, I need to friggin' start giving some back or I'm gonna lose. Which is not unusual for this game. See, that wall broke and only took bloody one hit. Oh my god. I'm playing this in like a tiny, uh, in a tiny, tiny window, so my mouse clicks are not very accurate. Come on. Oh my god. This is so bad. People can't shoot over each other either, so, uh... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I've already taken 4 casualties. That's pretty bad. Ah, oh, look, it is brick. God damn it. I can't tell if there's any doors there either. This whole area is smoked. Really gotta turn things around now. Oh, it's a hit and another loss. Oh, he's gone berserk. Yay, we got one! <laughs> Alright guys, Jesus Christ. <laughs>
This is so bad right now. Okay, there's one. Let's try and actually kill one of these fucking gits. Not enough time units. She's panicking. He's berserk. She's panicking. Uh, he's berserk. Only this guy is neither panicking nor berserk. Nor alive! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I have like one guy left who is not in a state of mad panic. And the aliens are smart enough to come out, take a shot, and then go back into cover. Oh, no, he's gone berserk. And he's putting shots into the bloody wall. Okay, she's just having a proper panic there and not, not doing anything. She's got no movement because she's panicked. Uh, this guy is actually not panicked. Let's reserve time for an auto shot. Can I get around the corner? Yes, I can. Right. Yes! Got one. Jesus Christ, this was bad. But unfortunately, I just don't... I don't have any other characters that are not... in the middle of a meltdown. <laughs> So he's probably going to die now. Like that. Oh my god, so many shots. Hidden movement. Turn 7, okay. Okay, he's gone berserk and is panic firing. Which is completely unhelpful. And here we are in the process of basically losing this game right now. Uh, I must admit, I've never done so badly before on a uh, on the first mission. Um, this is a particularly brutal murdering that I'm getting right now. Uh, oh my god! Time to evacuate. <laughs> There's no... There's no other way. We're gonna have to hope that this guy calms down, put him back in the uh, transport and leave. She can go berserk all she wants, but she dropped her weapon, so she can't 
actually uh, attack anybody. Not enough time units to get back on the boat. And she panicked, so she's wasted all of her time. And very shortly she is going to be dead. <laughs> I was more expecting to win this with... Um, with severe casualties, but instead I just got absolutely butchered. <laughs> um, the first mission, the best I've ever done it is only taking two losses, and the worst I've ever done is this, actually. <laughs> we are recording the worst playthrough of this game I have ever, ever had. I don't even think I'm going to be able to gracefully evacuate. I think this guy is just going to panic all of his turns away. Although the aliens have got to move quite far to uh, get to where he is. So he might calm down by then. There we go. One unit's in exit area. Zero outside exit area. Abort mission. Yes. Rating terrible. <laughs> Even when I only lost two people, it told me my rating was okay. Right, so, um, yeah, this is XCOM. You should have played this, this wretched game. You should have played it. Probably shouldn't have played it. God, the childhood trauma is coming back. I did, when I first played through this game, um, I, I did a test playthrough just before I started recording, and uh, I actually did all right. Uh, but um, on this occasion, I <laughs> just got my ass handed to me. The thing is, you would save at the start of the mission and uh, reload your save and have another go if it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. So, I mean, in that way, if if you're willing to save and reload, the the game can be relatively easy, which is why I don't really recommend it. But if you Iron Man this game, it it can be an absolute monster in terms of difficulty. So anyway, that's it for now. This is XCOM. You should have played it. Uh, this game is not fair, <laughs> even slightly fair, and uh, you're gonna lose a lot of a lot of soldiers trying to take out the first few sets of aliens and even later on you're going to lose a lot of people so if you get it from steam because you're some sort of masochist then i hope you enjoy it but otherwise get the modern one it's uh it's much better and that's it from me next time